Hi, welcome to another session of Paraguide video tutorial. As a part of our Microsoft Dynamics 365 video sessions, today we are going to learn how to migrate our Dynamics 365 organization on premise to online. The migration from Dynamics 365 on premise to online will basically happen in two phases. The first phase is all about having all your customization, development, or whatever the configuration changes which have been performed on your on premise organization to your online environment. In the next phase, we will have to take care of all the data which resides in our on-premise organization to our Dynamics 365 online environment. Let us start with phase 1. In first part, what we are going to do is we will connect to our on-premise Dynamics 365 organization and from there we will see how we can get our customization and configuration to our online deployment. So first of all let us connect to our Dynamics 365 on-premise environment. As you can see we are currently on our Dynamics 365 on-premise environment. Now, from here, first of all, we will see how we can get our customization and configuration to our online deployment. Now, in order to achieve this, first of all, we will have to take all our customization into a solution. Let's have a look at the solution. You can, from your Dynamics 365 environment, you can go to settings from settings under customization you can see solution let's go to the solution section in our solution section you can see all the solutions which are installed on our Dynamics 365 on premise environment now here you have two options either you can export any of the solutions which you have already developed which contains all your customization and configuration as well as development or what you can do is you can create your new solution and in which you can decide what all components you wish to take to your online environment so in this way we get an option either to take all our customization to our online environment or we can achieve this activity in a phase manner where you can have partial customization taken to your online environment in the first phase and later you can decide which other customizations you want to bring it to your online environment. This way we can even logically group our customizations. So today what we are going to do is that instead of taking any of our existing solution to our online environment, we are going to create a new solution and we will add some of the components in this new solution and we will take it to our online environment. So let us start with creating a new solution. Once you click on a new solution, you get the new solution form. Here you can provide the display name for your solution and select a publisher for your solution. Now here you have to provide the version. So we can just provide a version 0.1. If you want to provide any description, you can provide the description here. 
okay so i think this is all we need as of now so let us save and close the solution we can simply save the solution but just i would like to show you that once you create a new solution you will see the same newly created solution in your solution list now we can open this solution and we can decide which all components we would like to have in this solution currently you can see that there are no solution component records are available in this view which is correct because we have just created the new solution now we will add some entities which we want to take to our online environment for this training purpose we will just have very few records or components of the solution in order to test our migration activity so let's add some entity so in order to add any of the component we need to click on add existing and then it will take us to the wizard to add the existing component currently you can see the all the entities which are available in our organization visible here so to perform this test activity we are going to okay have this employee activity taken to our online environment so let's select the employee entity now once you select any of the solution component it will ask us all the dependent components which are required along with the entity or component which we have selected so here you can see that we have an option to include all the entity metadata as well as all the assets now we can simply click on finish this will add these entity into our solution in the next step the system will prompt you if you want to include all the required components associated with employee entity inside the solution yes we would like to have all the dependent or required components along with your employee entity in this solution this is required because if we do not select this there are chances that our customization may not work as expected so as you can see that we just added an employee entity in our existing solution but along with it this another four components have been automatically added in the solution because there were dependency or the components were required by employee entity so that's all we have for this new solution you can have as many components you want in this new solution be it entities web resources processes security roles reports whatever the customizations you have you can have it here now let's save and close this solution once the solution is successfully created the next step is to export this solution you have to select the solution and click on export now this is an interesting step before you export any solution system will ask you to publish all the customization this is required because at the time of exporting your solution there are chances that there are some unpublished customization in your organization so if you are sure that you have already published the customization you can simply click next or you can publish all the customization before proceeding further currently we do not wish to export any system settings so we'll just proceed to next in this step the system will ask you whether you want to publish this solution as managed or unmanaged 
Let me give you a brief idea about the managed and unmanaged solution. As you can read in the description as well, if you publish your solution as managed in the next organization or deployment where you are importing the managed solution, you will not be able to make any changes in that solution. If you export your solution as an unmanaged solution, you can customize that solution. This is the major difference between managed and unmanaged solution. Managed solution is good if you want to provide your final solution to your production environment or to your customer. Here we are migrating our customization to our online deployment where we may further customize that solution. That is why for us we will have to go with unmanaged solution. Let us click on next and proceed with the wizard. Now this is an important new feature of Dynamics 365. If you are familiar with the process of creating or exporting a solution in the older version of CRM, you may have not seen this step. Here you can choose which version of Dynamics 365 or Microsoft Dynamics 2016 you want this solution to target. Here you can see that current version is 8.2 which means this is a Dynamics 365 solution. If you want to target this solution to the older version like CRM 2016 you can set 8.0 or 8.1. This is called backward compat compatibility which was not present in the older version of CRM. This is a new feature introduced with Dynamics 365. Here you can see 8.2 because our target environment is also a Dynamics 365. So we'll just select 8.2 and proceed to export the solution. Now here you will receive an automatic prompt to save your solution file which is basically a zip file. As you can see that you are prompted to save this solution. You can simply save this solution on your local drive. Once you have saved the solution file on your local drive we are done from the first part of exporting our customization from our source which is an on-premise deployment. Now we will log in to our Dynamics 365 online deployment. As you can see that this is our Dynamics 365 online deployment. From here the same way we need to go to settings and under settings you have to go to solution and customization. Here also you will see all the installed solution in your online deploy. Here what we have to do is we have to import the solution. When we click on import solution, it will ask us to browse the solution file. Here we have to provide the same solution file path which was exported from our on-premise deployment. We will select the test solution file which was exported from our on-premise deployment and we will click on next. 
Now, if you want to see the solution package details, you can see it from here or you can simply click on import. This will start importing our customizations which is part of that solution into your online deployment. Once the import process is complete, you will be able to see the result of the import in the next step of this wizard. As you can see that the import of the solution was completed successfully. Below are the details about the solution import. You can even download the log file of this import process from here. You need to publish all the customization or you can close the wizard. If you want to further customize the system, you can simply close and publish the customization later or you can simply publish the customization at the moment and then proceed with the completion of this wizard. Now once the wizard is successful which means the solution is imported successfully you can see the solution name here. The test solution which we have exported from our on-premise deployment to our online 365 environment. Now to make sure that the entities are available for us, we can simply go to setting, customization and under customization, if you go to customize the system, here you will see that the entity employee which we have added as a part of our solution should be present along with all the other entities available in our online deployment. Here we go. We can see the employee entity which was successfully imported as a part of our solution. So same way you can have all your customization, configuration, all the entities and all other components of your on-premise 365 environment imported into your Dynamics 365 online environment. That's all we have from our part one of getting all the customization and configuration from your on-premise 365 environment to your online Dynamics 365 environment. In the next part, we will see how we can get the data from your on-premise Dynamics 365 environment to your Dynamics 365 online environment. I hope the video was useful to you. Thank you for watching this video.